J.D. Vance has ramped up his criticism of the Democratic Party's energy policies, with a sharp focus on leaders like Kamala Harris. He argues forcefully that a Kamala Harris presidency would spell disaster for the energy sector, suggesting that even if she only served for four years, it would take the country a full decade to recover. This grim outlook taps into a broader skepticism surrounding the Democrats' approach to energy, environmentalism, and economic strategy. Speaking of energy, uh, we became energy independent for the first time under Donald Trump's administration. Right. With, the, with AI requiring so much power to run it, and with wanting to become energy independent again, how long do you think it's going to take to be there again? And what, are the, what is the pathway to that? That's a very good question. Because to your point, AI requires so much power that unless we have effectively unlimited power, we're not going to be able to power the AI revolution. I mean, this is like crazy, you know, space age stuff. Like, you know, instead of going to a doctor to get, you know, to get your skin checked out to see if you have skin cancer, for example, you can take a photo and it'll tell you whether you have cancer. Like that's what the AI revolution is going to mean. That's going to mean more people living. That's going to mean cheaper medical costs, but only to, to your point, if we get those energy costs reasonable, you ask how long is it going to take to get energy independent? If Donald Trump is the president, it'll happen almost immediately because we've got so much energy here. We can do it. I mean, two years to get us back to where we were, because I mean, look, in, in, in Pennsylvania, in North Carolina, I mean, in Florida, we've got energy resources that the world would, would literally kill for. And in some cases, some of these countries have actually started wars over the resources we have. Kamala's entire policy is to buy oil and gas from tin pot dictators all over the world. Let's buy it from American citizens right here at home and create a lot of good American jobs in the process. But look, if, if Kamala Harris wins, God forbid, ooh, I'm going to have nightmares now just for, just for saying that. But I think it would take us 10 years after her administration, assuming you, she only got four years, it would take us 10 years to get us out of the hole that she would dig us into. That's how bad these guys are in energy. They just, they've got it in their mind that they care about the environment, but they don't actually care about the environment. We, we believe in clean air and clean water in the Republican Party. We actually created a lot of the environmental protections that exist. You know, you were on stage with Bobby Kennedy. Bobby Kennedy cares about the environment. Trust me, he does. But if you want clean air, you don't ship all of our manufacturing and energy to China, which is the dirtiest economy per, per unit of economic output in the world. You build more and make more in the United States of America. That's what President Trump will do. Vance heaps praise on Donald Trump particularly for what he views as a major victory during his administration, making the U.S. energy independent for the first time. He credits this to Trump's aggressive rollback of environmental regulations and a renewed focus on domestic fossil fuel production. In stark contrast, Vance claims the Biden-Harris administration favors buying oil and gas from authoritarian regimes rather than boosting domestic output. This reliance on foreign energy, he warns, not only weakens America economically, but also compromises its national security, putting the country at the mercy of nations uninterested in U.S. interests. On the subject of artificial intelligence, Vance stresses that the coming technological revolution demands a robust and affordable energy supply. He warns that strict energy regulations could choke innovation particularly in fields like medicine where AI could unlock groundbreaking advancements. He frames this as a missed opportunity under Democratic leadership, arguing that administrations like Harris's would keep energy costs high with restrictive environmental policies, stifling AI's potential benefits. Vance insists that environmental stewardship and strong domestic production don't have to be at odds. He even notes that many environmental protections originally stem from Republican policies, contending that safeguarding the environment shouldn't mean kneecapping American industry. He argues that the U.S. exacerbates global pollution by outsourcing energy production to countries like China, where environmental standards are much lower. This, he says, is a prime example of how globalization harms both American workers and the global environment as pollution is merely shifted elsewhere. Looking ahead, Vance suggests that if Trump were to regain the presidency, he could restore U.S. energy independence in as little as two years. 
he points to resource-rich states like Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Florida as key players in re-establishing American energy dominance. Vance's overarching point is that the U.S. should rely on its own resources to create jobs and revitalize the domestic economy, rather than sending money and employment opportunities overseas. For Vance, national power, economic growth, and environmental protection aren't conflicting goals, but complementary ones. He sees the Democrats' focus on climate change and renewable energy as misguided, driving up energy costs and increasing foreign dependence. Instead, he advocates for clean energy innovation alongside the use of America's vast natural resources, maintaining that it's possible to protect the environment without sacrificing economic growth or national security. Lastly, Vance criticizes leaders like Harris for merely paying lip service to environmental issues without enacting policies that lead to real, meaningful change.